And then you mentioned Instagram was where you started and that's obviously worked well for you. Is that the only one that you're on or do you focus on a few others as well? Yeah, I've just recently, probably just the last six months, just started doing a bit more TikTok stuff as well, but it's pretty much, uh, it, it is a little bit different in sort of the content that you want to post. Uh, TikTok's a little bit more sort of raw and you can just sort of slap a few things together and chuck it up. And it's more about volume on TikTok rather than Insta is a little bit more about the uh, bit more about the quality of the content that you're putting up. Um, but yeah, TikTok, you can throw, it's, it's bizarre. You can throw some stuff up on there and all of a sudden it goes ballistic. But then ones that you put a lot of work in do absolutely nothing, but go really well on Insta. So um, it's sort of good having a couple couple of different platforms as well, just so you can, you can try out, you know, different styles of videos, but you also get different responses from both as well. So it's nice just not having the the focus just on one platform that you can, it's a little bit more diverse and, um, yeah, you can trial all sorts of different stuff on both. Yeah. Have you sort of modeled yourself or have you been mentored by anyone that's sort of doing what you're currently doing that you work towards or who have helped yeah. you along the way, I guess? There's, uh, well, like I said, Luke, for that, uh, my um, cousin's fiance that sort of helped us really start it up with the social media stuff. He was a big influence early on, still is. And if I've ever got sort of um, ideas to bounce off, I always go to him and he sort of gives me some pretty good direction as to um, how to do bits and pieces. But in terms of like... Uh, like in the actual health and fitness game, I, I really like James James Smith PT. He's uh, he's a yeah big sort of I guess role model of mine. I really like a lot of his content, how he delivers it, um, and uh, yeah, I think that would be really the the benchmark of somewhere that I'd like to be able to get up to uh, someday and hopefully build build towards to. But um, yeah, I really like his stuff. Yep. And for those listening in that maybe have a family member that is interested in training with you or they want to train with you themselves, you mentioned an eight-week training program. What does that entail? Yep. Um, so, yeah, there's online or group uh, training available for that. So uh, for the online, it's getting at least four workouts done per week. Uh, and there's an option to either, uh, there's like live videos of me doing the workout with you and you can follow along with that. Or if you'd like to just go off the program, you can do that as well. And, you know, there's all sorts of instructional videos to show you how to do all the exercises and take you through all those steps sort of, um, you know, really slowly and, and making sure you do everything, doing everything right. And then with that, it also gives you full access to all my uh, meal planning side of stuff as well. So how I do the meal planning um, and sort of diet aspect of it is uh, I'll give you a calorie target and a protein target. And then there's 60 plus recipes on the site that you can choose. Very similar to using like my fitness pal, you can choose whatever you like to fit in with those targets. So it's not only... It's not only just coming in and me telling you what to do, you're actually going away with the knowledge to then be able to apply it, you know, after the eight weeks. There's not much point of coming in and, and me being with you every step of the way and telling you this is exactly how you do it. If you're not necessarily learning the skill of how to count calories, how to work out how much protein's in your food, how to program, um, you know, a, uh, exercises and a program yourself, I want you to be able to go away from the from the eight weeks of training and be set up with every, all the tools that you need to, you know, excel with, uh, with every aspect of your health and fitness. So, yeah. Which movie or TV series has impacted you the most and why? All right. Well, um, all right, we'll go movie and well, movie finding Nemo. Love that movie. Right. So I'm into the sort of my, one of my little weird, uh, I've got lots of different hobbies that I'm into. I'm into footy cards. I'm into collecting all sorts of different things, but, uh, I'm into aquariums. That's what I did before PT was, was build aquariums. That's what I did for work. So, uh, I've got, uh, I've got a pretty cool, marine tank set up it's got saltwater fish in there and it grow corals and all that sort of thing so i uh, finding nemo kicked that all off in was that 2003 and then after that i got my first fish tank and that's sort of uh, what took that sort of interest and hobby for me off a little bit so that was the movie but then tv show you're trying to bait me here but uh, yeah love island for sure so uh you know that was uh yeah a very interesting experience uh don't re don't regret doing it but would never ever ever do it again but um yeah so that would that would be the yeah. two i reckon for our final question, what are you most excited about for 2022? What's on the horizon for you? Getting this bloody gym going, getting the gym going. <laughs> we want, I want franchises. I want one in Melbourne. I want one north of the river in Perth. I want one in Sydney. We're going to get it. We're going to get it cranking. So <laughs> yeah, should be awesome. good. Should be good. We'll start, we'll start with the first one this year and then we'll see how we go. I reckon. Yeah.